So here's a picture again of a function f of a graph of a function that we rotate about the y-axis and we do so for the x values in between a and b. So and uh, we've chosen to cut up our interval a b in n equal pieces and uh, these pieces are have width uh, delta x so that's the length of such an interval x i minus 1 x i now suppose we sample x i star from such an interval the ith interval then um, the height is given by f x i star right so if we rotate such a rectangle uh, about the y-axis then we obtain a cylindrical shell and this cylindrical shell has a thickness the, the the thickness of the skin is about delta x and its height is f x i star yeah so um remember what we did in the in, in in the former clip where we approximated the volume of such a shell so here we discuss the approximate volume of shell i yeah so we rotate the ith rectangle about the y-axis then we do get a cylindrical shell which has approximate volume that is given by h times 2 pi r times delta r where h stands for the height and 2 pi r stands for the approximate circumference and delta r for the thickness of the skin so h is given by the function value in x at the sample, sample point, so f x i star. And uh, we have an approximate diameter or radius of x, star, x i star. So we have a circumference which is about 2 pi x i star. And the thickness of the skin is just the length of the interval, delta x. So that's just one shell, and this is shell i, and we sum over all shells, which we uh, uh, we have n of them. So an approximate volume of the solid is then given by the sum over those volumes. Yeah, so which is given by the sum of i equals one to n of two pi x i star. 2 pi x i star times the height, which is f x i star, times the thickness of the skin of the shell, which is given by delta x. Yeah, and uh, like before, we may just refine this procedure and take higher and higher values of n, anything else uh, being the same so a and b so we get a refinement and we see that we're closing in on something that we would like to call the volume of the solid and uh, but see that we are, are by doing so we are actually uh, picking uh, Riemann sums with a very particular function and this function is now 2 pi x fx so the volume can be in the limit the volume equals the definite integral from a to b of 2 pi x times fx dx. Yeah, so here within the blue rectangle, this function defines the integrand of this integral. 